Welcome back to the Southwest Airlines Halftime Show on Fox. Tonight, Tostitos is proud to present the remarkable tale of the 1951 University of San Francisco Dons, whose courage and brotherhood remind us that college football is not only a game, but a reflection of the true human spirit. Academy Award-winning actor Morgan Freeman has their inspirational story. In 1951, the University of San Francisco Dons accomplished one of the greatest seasons in the history of college football. The coaches and players were told a postseason invitation would be extended if they agreed to one stipulation. Leave their two African-American players at home. When we heard that we couldn't bring our two African-Americans to play in the bowl, we said, no way, no way. When we took our stand of not going to the bowl, we were the reason that eventually back players played in bowl games. If you look at the guys that we had on that team, and if we wore Notre Dame jerseys with Irish written on the back, people would be writing about us today. How exceptional was this team? Nine players went on to play in the National Football League. Ali Madsen, Gino Marchetti, and Bob St. Clair are enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Burl Tola became the league's first African-American referee, athletic publicist, future NFL commissioner, Pete Rozelle. Pete Rozelle once said, if I had another franchise, I would take that entire team, and inside of three years, they'd be champions. For Tostitos, to give us this championship moment is something we will remember the rest of our lives. You can't cry over what happened. We were a great team. This team was part of something great, and greatness stays with a person forever. Their exploits may be ancient, may even be forgotten, but their integrity will never be questioned. These men lived it. From the collegiate heroes of the past to future champions, being part of a championship bowl game is an accomplishment every team dreams of. The undefeated 1951 Dons should have earned their rightful place in sports history, but their opportunity was denied. Because Tostitos believes in bringing people together, they've reunited this champions with the hope that their story lives on and takes its rightful place in college football history. That is a story worth telling. Second half kickoff coming your way from the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl after this.